Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, July the 5th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. It was back on this date in 1916 that one of the most famous hurricanes to hit Mobile struck the Mobile, Pensacola area. Category 3 hurricane, uh, top winds about 121 miles an hour, pressure about 951 millibars, uh, caused record flooding in downtown Mobile. The tide there, 11.6 feet, seven fatalities reported from this hurricane, which was uh, one of the worst hurricanes ever to hit that part of the Gulf Coast. Tropical Depression 5 sliding past Bermuda late last night. Uh, moving on off to the northeast, it probably won't become Tropical Storm Edward. It could still, um, as of this uh, recording, it had not done that yet. Um, that could still happen. Uh, some chance we'll still see a tropical depression or tropical storm somewhere along the uh, North Carolina Outer Banks next week, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Upper pattern this morning, sort of a weak uh, ridge holding on over there to central United States. They got a uh, weak trough over the northwestern U.S., weak trough over the northeastern U.S. Here in Alabama, we're sort of under the influence of the eastern trough. And uh, you can see sort of a weak northwesterly flow. Weak being the uh, operative term, it is July, in fact, here. But we could be under one of those uh, huge heat ridges at this point. So we'll be thankful that we're not. At the surface, very unusual to see uh, surface pressures this low, the shades of green showing lower pressure, no distinct surface lows, but uh, all across the eastern, really two-thirds of the United States, uh, the pressures are very low, and that's going to help us in the rainfall department over the next few days. Four o'clock today, the HRRR shows scattered thunderstorms, uh, mainly north of I-20 again today. Looks like the northwestern part of the area will be the favorite area for development, and if you're under one of those storms, you will see uh, uh, frequent uh, cloud-to-ground lightning strikes and some brief heavy rain could pick up one to two inches of rain very quickly if you're under one of those but you can see the rain chances um, will still be uh, fairly small uh, given the um, amount of uh, heating and instability that we'll have today just uh, not a lot of rain out there now for monday things change a bit look at those uh, uh, off the gfs you can see uh, a good bit of precipitation spread across the area uh, and that looks likely here's the reason a uh, big mass of uh, Gulf of Mexico moisture moving out here. This could play into what becomes that potential eventual tropical storm off the North Carolina outer banks. Uh, banks. The uh, European had been hinting that we might see some sort of tropical depression along the Gulf Coast um, maybe today, but I think that's going to be inland before it has a chance. But all the moisture associated with that system is going to move up into south-central Alabama, and it's going to give us some... Uh, Pretty good rain chances. Those precipitable water values well above normal, even for this time of year. Some of those values approaching two and a half inches uh, by tomorrow evening. And uh, here's Tuesday. Still rain chances very good over the south. We're in a warm, humid air mass. Those pressures are lower. Uh, nothing really uh, keeping the air from rising. And with all that moisture, uh, some pretty heavy rainfall amounts could develop. Wednesday, more the same. Temperatures held down into the 80s uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, thanks to all the clouds and showers. We finally start to come out of this pattern on Thursday. I'll say scattered thunderstorms, high temperatures topping out in the upper 80s. And then as we get into Friday, you can see those rain chances really begin to thin down. Uh, only isolated storms at best, high temperatures near 90 degrees. For Saturday, even a little warmer, we might be in the lower 90s. And uh, by this time, uh, those heat index values could be approaching uh, 100 to 105 degrees, especially um, with those dew points in the lower and middle 70s and uh, high temperatures in the 92 to 4, 94 range. So we'll be approaching uh, some excessive heat by that point. By next Sunday, it's going to be hard to find a shower anywhere across Alabama. High temperatures again well in the lower and middle 90s. It's going to feel quite hot. And like July, uh, speeding forward into the uh, toward the end of the output of the model, two weeks from today, uh, not much else. Maybe isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms across Alabama. A little better than we'll see next weekend, but not much. Here are temperatures off of the GFS showing uh, your uh, highest temperatures today and tomorrow. Uh, then uh, dropping back. Well, really, today, this is actually output that still shows Saturday. 
uh, hottest temperatures today back in the 80s for the next three days then we'll be uh, slowly climbing back through the 90s I don't know if I can buy 98 next Monday and Tuesday the uh, 13th and 14th but uh, suffice to say uh, middle 90s are going to be very possible all through that remaining period so a very hot time coming up for Alabama now, the good news is the uh, weather prediction center five-day precipitation shows that uh, especially areas along and south of I-20 could get in excess of two inches of rain over the next five days that will continue to help uh, you know our rainfall situation uh, right now really Alabama in pretty good shape only scattered areas of abnormally dry one of those uh, Shelby and Chilton counties most of the rest of the state in pretty good shape and the short-term uh, lawn and garden index looks really good according to Dr. John Christie, especially over northwest Alabama, where it is in quite good shape. Now, tomorrow night, very special weather range. We're going to be talking to Jeff Garman, who is an Alabama young, uh, an Alabama man who is now the uh, MIC, the meteorologist in charge at the National Weather Service in Juneau, Alaska. Uh, interesting enough, uh, in and of himself, but we'll also be joined by the famous Jimmy Hall, famous for the band Wet Willie. You know the song, uh, keep on smiling uh, the great song weekend he'll join us jimmy will join us tomorrow night on weather brains at eight o'clock all the favorite places that you consume uh, your favorite weather netcast uh, james Spann and the whole crew uh, will be uh, entertaining talking to jimmy i'll be really excited about that so join us won't you please well that's your weather video for this sunday july the 5th i've got the notes on the blog uh, have update coming up for you at noon on the forecast. We'll, of course, be updating any of those storms that developed this afternoon. Uh, James will be back two days all of this coming week, and Scott will be here next Saturday. I'll see you again next Sunday, and until then, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.